A novel pathogen has come under investigation by numerous anomalous investigatory and containment agencies. This disease, hereby dubbed sensory ischema, is a neurovascular disorder characterized by a severe impairment of blood flow to all sensory organs, leading to the eventual atrophy and loss of these organs and the associated senses they provide. The skin feels no touch, the eyes go dark, the ears fall deaf, the tongue loses its taste, and the nose is... no... longer... smelly? I don't know, whatever. So you know everything you use to gauge the entirety of your reality? Imagine if that was fucking gone! Try finding the right hole now, idiot! The pestilence has been nicknamed the withering, but no one who has it knows that because they can't hear it or see it written down anymore. This pathogen not only halts blood flow to all of the sensory organs, but also to some of the accessory body parts in the immediate vicinity. The cartilage forming the nose and ears slowly turn to carotid and fall off. All the hair on the skin will go, as well as the lips and teeth. The lips and teeth themselves, not hair, th there's not the hair on the lips and teeth, which I, you guys don't have that, right? The skin will slowly turn necrotic, becoming an alien-like rotten grayish black, until patches begin to flake off, revealing the raw flesh underneath. In most cases, after a long period of suspended circulation, the eyes will just shrivel up and fall out. This deforms the victim, resulting in a horrific visage that you'll be happy you don't have to see in the mirror. Just ignore it some more, I'm sure it'll go away. While the symptoms look incredibly distressing, the sensation of pain is lost first in every afflicted organ, so it doesn't actually even hurt. While this sounds like a blessing amongst the nightmare, you forget that pain is the body's warning system for when something's going wrong. Like when you first touch a knife and learn things are sharp, or when you first skin your knee and learn things were rough, or when you first have an emo girl put a cigarette out on your skin and some horrible misstep in your evolution or personal development makes you ask her to do it again. This painless transition from normal person to withered husk makes it so you actually don't even know you're losing your senses until they're perceptibly far gone. This pathogen spreads solely throughout bodily fluids, so it'll be hard when you see something as sexy as that. But for your own safety, keep your folds and flaps to yourselves, folks. Despite the horrific symptoms of the disease, it is in no way inherently fatal. Victims can survive indefinitely after they lose all of their senses. In most cases, if not killed by self-mutilation, these individuals eventually go dormant and stop responding to the world, unable to perceive any of the reality around them, remaining completely still as they slowly dry out and die of dehydration. Or something goofy like that. There was a theory that the individuals went brain dead at this point, but they stuck one in an MRI machine and found out that it was even more active than the average brain but only in the parts of the brain that light up when experiencing anguish and suffering. Goddamn, a real I have no mouth and I must scream situation. There are some individuals in this state kept alive by a family or loved ones manually via a feeding tube and an IV. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Seriously, you're bumming me out, man. Change the damn channel off this sad donation to stop the abuse of puppies commercial vibes, please. I wanna go back to the horror show. Wait, my 600 pound life is on? I was thinking Cronenberg, but this is close enough for me. Despite the torture porn that is the scenario presented, upon further investigation, it appears that this disease is non-anomalous in nature. Many paranormal agencies researched the outbreak because of its unsettling nature, and found that just simple trial and error mutation did that shit. Lots of the time, nature is scarier than the lies that I tell you. Because of that, the Foundation has classified the pathogen as not its fucking problem. <laughs> Don't you worry your sweet simple brains. Regular human research routes are currently in hot pursuit of a cure. This shit was scary enough for the phone apes to get their ass in gear. Let this be a lesson, Amoeba. If you kill something too quickly, they'll do something about it. You gotta do it slowly, over time, like cigarettes or obesity. If you like this video for some reason and you want me to come back and talk more about the weird nonsensical critters, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, and watch all my other stuff, or I'll give you a disease. No, that's a completely different threat than the Smasher Pass, you smartass. I'd like to thank my buddy, Dark Ranch 7 aka Wyatt, for drawing this critter. I also want to thank Biodegradable for editing this video. They're both awesome, you should go check out all their things. Shout out to the inner circle, love y'all.